Hi, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to do a fun new project. So for the entire month of March, I am doing all 3D items. So we are going to be doing another 3D item today. It's going to be holding a sanitizer little bottle. The uh, ones from Bed Bath, not Bed Bath and Beyond, um, Bath and Body Works will fit as well in this little container I made. So you don't have to have this specific um, hand sanitizer that I am using. But welcome everybody. Hello, Darlene. Hello, Anna, Karen, Martine. Hello, I got to see you today. It's very nice chatting with you. I forgot my iPad. It is in the other room. So I'm not going to be able to see comments when I flip you guys over. I actually will try to get it on my phone um, and set my phone up. So hopefully it um, works. Let me make sure my volume. Oh, let me turn my volume down. Okay, we will see how well this works. Um, but welcome everybody. Hello, Marie. So I'm just going to chit chat for a second until some of our friends log on. I will tell you, I've had a rough few days, um, lots of crap happening in my life, so I didn't make all nine of these boxes. They are sitting beside me, they're cut, they're scored, they're ready to go, but I have not had the chance to put them all together. So I will show you um, what I have done uh, and the bags and all the other things that we have made so far for our little bags. So um, I'm going to flip you over and just chit chat a minute and show you the products we're going to be using. Oh, you know what? Before I do, let me bring this in. I don't know if many of you guys saw, but um, starting tomorrow all day, it is free shipping on orders over $50. I made this little um, thing up for Facebook and my email and I thought it was super cute. So I thought I would let you guys know also. So I suggest um, doing cardstock, doing mini dimensionals, doing um, dimensionals, mini glue dots, adhesive. I really think you should stock up on those things since it's free shipping. Um, totally take advantage of it. And for each $50 that you do place using the host code, I have some really cool gifts that are already packaged and ready for the mail. So those are all a surprise, but don't forget tomorrow all day is free shipping. Okay, now let me flip you over. Okay, so the designer series paper we're going to be using is the same um, art gallery. It's the art gallery designer series paper. These are for the feminine ones. And then the masculine ones I am using is um, the well-suited designer series paper. It literally, I think, is probably now one of my favorite I favorite designer series paper. I have used so much of this. I think I'm on my third pack already. So that's the designer series paper that we're using. So let me bring in. This is um, it standing up. And let me just lay it down so you guys can see. Um, just a very cute kind of simple little box and it fits right inside just like that and there's a few extra score marks on this guy to get it to get the box and the back on it but it is so easy to put together so these are the two that I've created <laughs> these are the ones that still need to be put together but I'm working on it slowly but surely Okay, so hello, Anna, Bev, Valerie, Susan, hello. I'm actually on my phone because I forgot my iPad on in the craft room. So anyway, we'll make it work. So what you need to start out with is a piece of cardstock, and it measures five and a half inches by 11. So you only get one um, box holder, hand sanitizer holder out of one sheet of paper. So this is um, Pacific Point, and again, it's five and a half by 11. And I have a piece of our designer series paper. It's one and a half by 12. And then a little scrap, and this is three inches by one and three fourths. So that's really all the paper we need. So you're gonna bring in your scoreboard, and we are going to put the 11 inch side up at the top, and we're gonna do a couple score marks. We are. We're gonna actually rotate this a couple times. Um, so hopefully, if you wanna make these, definitely rewatch the video a couple times. 
Okay, so our first score mark is going to be at a half an inch. Oops, I jumped the track. At a half an inch. Our next one is going to be at two and a quarter. Four inches. And five and three fourths. Now we're going to rotate it. So now we have the five and a half inch side up at the top. We're going to score it at one and three fourths and three and three fourths. So before we put the scoreboard away, I now want to rotate it. So the 11 inch side is up at the top and this is where we scored in the beginning. So now I want to come up to the seven and a half inch mark and I only want to score down to that one and a three four score mark. So I'm just literally following it to that point. I want to do the same thing on this side, but I think it's too hard to follow the groove around. So I'm just going to flip it over and score at the seven and a half inch. Okay. So hopefully you guys followed me on that. If you go all the way across, it's not tragic. It, your box will still work but there's one more step we have to do. So I'm gonna flip this back over so the five and a half inch side is up top. I'm gonna to now come over and score it at one and a half, but I'm only gonna go down to this first score mark down at the bottom. And then come over here and score, oops, score at the four inch mark. It's okay, it won't mess it up. Okay, I know this, that was a little tricky, but I'm going to show you the method to my madness. So this is what we did. We just made a little tiny edge on the side and that's just going to help hold our box together. So this is, there was a little method to my madness. So now we're going to do some cutting. So I'm on the half an inch side right here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut all the way down to the score mark and I'm gonna notch this guy out. So we're keeping the little piece on the inside. So I'm not gonna notch out the first tab because this is what's going to fold our box down and it's gonna give it a pretty finish. But I am gonna notch out this side. I'm gonna cut this piece and I'm gonna notch out this one and notching them out just helps your box fold a little bit nicer. So I'm going to come in and cut this um, center square. I'm going to notch this out. And I'm going to go ahead and notch this side out. Okay, so we have two that have notched out. This one we did not. Now we're going to come up to this guy. So we're going to cut, but we're not going to notch out this portion. So now we're going to come up here and cut down our first score mark. I know, hopefully I'm not losing you guys, but we're taking this piece completely out. And then come in here and snip that extra little piece. You see what I did right there? I made it where we had a little tab to glue our box together. I did it without, um, I did it without this little tab and it still worked, but it just didn't fold exactly how I liked it. So I'm actually gonna flip this over and do the same thing on this side, just so I don't confuse you guys going backwards. So we're gonna snip and I'm gonna take this piece out. So now we are left with the little tab I'm gonna come in, snip up the edge. I'm not going to snip off any of these guys because that is going to be the top of our little box. Notch that side out. Notch this side. And I do recommend, if you guys are going to do this, do this on some scrap paper. Um, do it four or five, six times, how many ever times you need. And then once you have it down perfect, you can do our designers use our cardstock. So I'm gonna come in. So I went ahead and cut, but I didn't snip the edges on this one. So we're gonna come up to the top, 
find our score mark. It's hard to see when it's upside down. So we're literally just cutting this out. There we go. Come down here, cut this little tab, and there we go. Looky there. So that now matches my original design besides the um, little hole punch, and we're gonna do that next. So take your one and a half inch um, circle punch, you're gonna slide it all the way in to the center. You wanna line up the score marks. Just make sure it's lined up to your um, one and a half inch circle punch. Pull it down just a hair and then punch and it'll be right in the center. I did it when it was all the way in and it was so close to the edge, so that's why I said to pull it down just a hair. So there we go. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and come in and fold on our score marks. So we're gonna do this on all of them. Oh, hello, Peyton, thank you. Yes, Valerie, or um, Marie, you if you wanna do this, you will have to watch it a couple times. Um, I honestly have no idea where my box math and stuff comes from. I literally took this bottle, set it on the scoreboard, realized that it was one and a half inches around, so I needed one and three fourths inch flaps and I created it. I don't, I have no idea. Some people are amazing at painting. I cannot paint worth crap. Um, we all have our little niches. Okay, so I went ahead and fold um, on all of our score marks. So I am gonna grab a little bit of tear and tape. I'm gonna put tear and tape on these little flaps. And if it hangs over, it's not tragic. We're just gonna roll it back over on itself. Peel this off, it hung over a hair, so I'm just gonna fold it over. Take this piece off and fold it over. There we go. So now, all we have to do is start putting our box together. So this is gonna go right on the edge. And then this side is the same thing. There we go. So look, our bat or our box is almost together. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of tear tape right here. And then watch. Literally, all you're gonna do is get all these arms out of the way, set this in, and look, just give that a good press on the inside. And besides these little flaps that need glued down, your little box is together. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? Oh my goodness, I was so excited that it turned out. Okay, so because there's a little bit of tear tape right there. This guy will stick to it, but I wanted it to be, stick a little bit better than that. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive, fold that over, put some adhesive on the top, and lay this down. So this is that flap that we didn't notch out, and it rolls right over, and it leaves a beautiful edge. So there we go, let's peel that guy off. Lay this over, there we go. Look at how easy peasy that was. As long as you can get our measurements and the score marks right and the cut marks right, it is perfect. So like we have been all week or all month, I love this little tab punch. I'm gonna slide this in, give it a good punch. And then I have some designer series paper that we're gonna decorate it with. Literally, it is going to be super easy. And I didn't do any stamping on it. I didn't feel, I wanted, I love just looking at the designer series paper sometimes. So I should have actually um, put this on before I punched it, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. So I'm just gonna put a piece of the designer series paper on there and then Let's try to see if it will work. 
put it back in my punch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, it works perfect. Even though it's got this little tip on the top, we're gonna put ribbon up there so you won't ever be able to tell. So actually glue down your designer series paper before you punch. So do as I say, not as I do. I used to hate my mom for saying, or hate it when my mom would say that to me. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. And I didn't put adhesive really close to the edge because I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I'm just gonna hold this there for a quick second. I'm just gonna give this a good little bend, flip it over, add some more adhesive. This is a cheating way of wrapping your designer series paper around your box. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that. Flip it over, add some adhesive, pinch. I don't know if anybody else would do it this way, but add some adhesive and there we go. So now I'm just gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna snip off the edge. But I've left a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna pinch it, but then watch this brilliant move. And literally nobody will know that you did it. So you didn't put adhesive on there. So now I'm just gonna roll that in and add some adhesive and it's gonna stick perfectly. There we go. And nobody even knows that I cheated to put the adhesive or the belly band on. Super cute, right? Add your um, hand sanitizer and add a ribbon and bam, you are done. So I'm gonna grab this, wrap it around. These would actually be super cute for school teachers. Um, and really anybody, anybody going to school or employees. Let's give this a little haircut. There we go. And you could put a sentiment on here if you wanted to. I decided not to because I wanted to just look at the designer series paper. Okay, we actually have a few more minutes. So why don't I do another cut with you? Um, that's probably the hardest part is the cutting. Um, so let's do it again. Hopefully this designer series paper or this cardstock will help show the score marks a little bit better. So this is the half an inch mark. We're gonna take it and sniff up and then kind of notch out like that. And then we're gonna come over to the other one. We're not gonna notch out the edges, but we're gonna notch out the edges of this one. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Debbie. We're gonna sniff up. Not out, and then come up here, cut, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna cut on this one also. Then we're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna cut down. Do you see the two score marks? Hold on, let me see if I can get. Do you see this two score marks that we did? We're only, we're gonna cut on the inside to cut this whole flap off. This is what's going to give us that two inch piece that will fit inside of our punch. Now we're gonna come down here, cut this guy off, and then come in and notch. There we go. And then let me flip it over so we can continue doing the same side all the way up. I don't want to go backwards on you guys and then everybody get totally confused. So we're leaving the first one straight, notching out the second two. And there's there might be different ways to do hand sanitizer boxes, but I thought this one was super cute and easy and totally duplicatable. So we're gonna come up to the top, 
trim this. Uh, I don't think my cutting skills were so good on that one. He's a little wonky right there, but that's okay. I come in here and take this piece out and let's notch that out. There we go. Look at how easy that is. So now I'm gonna flip it over, grab my one and a half inch circle punch. And I'm gonna line up the score marks onto my um, punch, just kind of make sure it's even, and then scoot it down a hair. And there we go. That's it, super easy. And I've only made three. Um, I made, well, the two for the girls, and then this is the other one for the girl. And I've only actually completed one of the masculine ones. But I do have all of the pieces here ready to go. So hopefully my life will kind of settle down in the next couple days and I will be able to finish them. But anyway, it was a really quick Facebook Live. Literally, I think we were on for like 20 something minutes. Um, I know it was a bit of a moment, so please definitely feel free to watch the Facebook Live more than once to be able to um, get these guys done. But they're so fun and they're so cute and you could actually, if you have a little bit bigger of um, a hand sanitizer. You could use an oval frame or the oval dies or the oval punch. Um, you could use another one to be able to get them to fit in the size of a box. Okay, so if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach out. Don't forget that tomorrow is, ooh, let me go to this side. Tomorrow is free shipping on all orders over $50. And if you use the host code um, that I put in there, I have amazing little goodies ready to go into the mail. As soon as your order hits, I will drop it in the mail. Um, if your order's over $150, don't use the host code and enjoy the rewards that Skimpin' Up will give you. Okay, if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach out. I'm gonna run in and finish our movie with my husband and I'll probably come back out here. I've got a lot to do. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.